going to be sharing with you the unveiling of an artist series solar guitar and there's only 50 made of these guitars so I believe I have number 50 and due to being number 50 I live in the 50th state man come on 50th number guitar 50th state has to come home to the boogeyman right here so I got an email from Greg and he is uh, one of the owners of Solar Guitars as well and um, he said your package arrives today and I was like well wow, usually they send me a, like a confirmation and a and a tracking a shipping tracking address thing or you can click on it and it lets you know like where's your order at you know like on the first unboxing video I literally got to see it go from Spain and travel the country and the world to get to Hawaii but this one was a surprise it was an email saying hey <laughs> guitars are coming today so it was a super awesome surprise I was on the other side of the island today so that's like a two-hour drive almost a two-hour drive from Kona to, to Hilo and um, they showed up and uh, they sent two boxes <laughs> um, I bought one guitar the artist the last one and it says here electric guitar a guitar box then this one electric guitar a guitar box so what's in box number one taped up like it's a full-on heavy metal Christmas look at that look at that all they needed was a, like solar bells and a solar candy cane and it'd be Christmas so I am going to share with you I don't know what if, if I can, if I'm supposed to be sharing this with you. I don't know if other people got this. Um, so I'm very sorry, if uh, Greg, if I wasn't supposed to show this. But um, it looks like two guitars here, man. So um, does it feel like a guitar, though? So I'm going to open it up. And um, this is, like, super, um, like, this is super stoked. You know, the guitar in itself was stoked. So what's in box number one? And um, to do that... I'm gonna need my trusty flashlight that keeps the bad people away. Okay, so got a flashlight and I'm gonna open it up. And I am going to share with you guys what is in here. I mean, honestly, I don't know what's in here. I'm very surprised that it said in the email, um, your guitars arrived today. But um, I only got one guitar, and it doesn't feel like two guitars. So, what's going on? Let's check it out. All right. Okay, so uh, let's see what we got inside the box. Okay, so box number one. <laughs> no, I can't show you these. I don't think I'm supposed to show you these. But you know what? I don't care. I'm a solar artist, right? So, there's a, there's two, there's two gig bags. Look at that. Look at this. Okay, I got two gig bags, yes. Bought one guitar. And you know why? You know why? Because Greg and Ola understood understood the pain of being some of the first bought solar guitars because when we when when the first run came out the first batch came out we first gen solar owners um, first generation meaning we got the first batch of the idea we got the first batch of the sketch of what he wanted to open up for the market of his brand but the first generation people did not get gig bags. All you second gen, third gen, fourth gen, you guys got bags. But you know what? For owners like myself that have two solar guitars, I got gig bags for each guitar. So uh, thank you, Greg, very, very much. Um, I, I, I'm, 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 uh, 
didn't think this was coming, honestly. And um, there's one. Comes at shoulder straps. And I'm just opening it up, you know. I'm 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 stoked. And you know, I I mean, no offense, taking the guitars out on the road. I didn't like having to put it in my Ibanez case, though it fit. And I, I wanted to be able to sport the brand. You know, it's like having Nike shoes and you're wearing Adidas socks. It's not cool, you know? So, thank you guys. Um, thank you both. Uh, thank you, Greg. Uh, thank you, Ola. Um, thank you very much. Um, wow. You guys. You guys. You know, that, that, that's amazing that a company can do that. You know, um, this company is full of heart. And yeah, it's a sign of the times when you're, <laughs> you get the privilege to be endorsed by a crazy guitar company, right? And then the two owners of the company are like super cool, like amazing, you know? Um, I know I, I, was, I, I would always email Ola like, hey man, can I get a soft bag? Can I buy a soft bag for my other guitars? And I, would, uh, I, would, I told Greg, I was like, Greg, can I get like some soft cases for my original guitars that I bought? You know, and you know, I wanted to pay for them. You know, um, I didn't know it was a gift. And um, thank you guys. You guys are, you guys, you get, you guys are good. You guys are good. So that was in this box. Hi uh, there. I'm a solar guitar artist. Yes, I am. Yeah. No, I ain't, I ain't doing that on TV. This is an artist run from the first generation ad that there was only 50 of these that were going to be made. Again, they might do it on other generations, but this is the first generation, man. First gen. This is the original one of 50. This is the number one of 50 first batch number 50 so um, I remember Ola posted something in Facebook um, saying um, um, there's a last of the artist series uh, 1 through 50 available and I immediately emailed him and you know what that guy about an hour I think about an hour 15 later an hour and 15 minutes later he emailed back and he said he attached his email to Greg and said, can we do this? He wants 50. Let's give the boy 50. He's crying on the email. He wants number 50. He needs it. He wants it. He, you know, can we get him 50 so he can stop bothering me? And um, Greg replied back, yeah, we can do that. Here's his order number. It's his. So, um, I was not crying for number 50. I... I did not beg. I did kindly ask, can I have number 50? Just because I live in the 50th state. So, here we go. We're gonna open this guy with a sharp knife. Watch out! Watch out! No, don't do that. We're not at practice. We're not trying to hurt nobody. We're just trying to open up the guitar box. Peacefully, gently, without hurting the goods. Again, the box came from Spain, undamaged, unbanged up, because Ola does two boxes. So, this is box number one. And um, if you guys like, you know, when you guys watch these videos, you get, you like hearing the cardboard out of the rub. You know, so I, I try to make all the sound, sound effects for you guys. Okay, so if I can do this right, come on, come on, there you go. So, you hear all the cardboard? Are you unboxing video loving people? You guys sick. Ooh. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. What? No way, you guys, you guys, Ola and Greg, 
thank you. Um, I really don't know if I should be making this video. Um, honestly, uh, did everybody that got like one true fifty get this? I mean, come on, you guys, man. I love you guys, man. Look at this. Get, get this box over there. Don't break the iPad. Okay, dude. Oh, <laughs> looky, looky, looky. Oh, you see the glory? You see the glory? I got this. They gave it to me. Because they love me. No, I'm serious. This is crazy. Um, look at that beautiful artwork. Oh, I'm really, I, I, I'm really happy. This is really cool, you guys. Um, Wow, and that's some, and I know I asked for one of these, and I I have a solar guitar shirt. Uh, I am going to make a a video of me playing a song with this guitar, with one of these shirts on or both of them. But um, you guys are awesome. This is an amazing company. Solar Guitars is like a it's a familia. Um, I'm. <clears throat> I'm doing a, an artist collaboration with Philip Boardman. Um, there's so much people I'm doing collabs with, but Philip Boardman is uh, another um, artist from Solar. And, um, wow. You guys, man, you guys are good. You guys are good. Joking. Okay, so when you buy a Solar guitar, it comes packed in two boxes well packed mine had shirts in them two shirts so um <laughs> mine had two shirts in them because both of them love me ola loves me and greg loves me and they gave me a shirt each and so did the guitar cases ola loves me and greg loves me and you know what i love those guys too because they treat their their artists right man and they, they are amazing. This company is the best. The best. And here it is. Another bag for my third solar guitar. This is my artist number 50. I'm going to leave the box there. And there's my beautiful lady over there. My, my, my blue blue. And... It is Woo! Okay, so they gave extra padding on the headstock, an extra little little rubber band over here, and here we go. Here we go. I always want to try and pull this out one crack and make it nice and smooth, but I usually get it snagged on something. So, um, look at that. Got his signature right there. Yes. Come on. Cool foam unwrapping. Cool foam unwrapping. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at it. Can you look at it? Look at that. Look at that. That is an artist series solar guitar with the signature. And again, is the back view. Look at that awesome craziness over here. Look at the wood. This is the matte black artist series with the Evertunes. Look at this. It's got the Duncan Solar pickups, five way switch, volume only, no tone control. Awesome. That means you're getting only pickup craziness on there. Again, you have the, you have Ola's signature on the top right here. I don't know if you can see it right there. And Ola's logo or the brand logo and it is amazing look at this hey an ever tune that's not in tune wow 
Again, these lights in here are hot. So, uh, no, it's perfectly tuned. And Ola wants me to write a song with this tuning because here in Hawaii, we do slap key guitar. So he wants to see if I can create something with this tuning, and I'm going to do that. Okay, so I am going to do a playthrough with this guitar on one of my amplifiers or my Kemper or both. And this is the artist. Woo! Okay. Okay, this is this is amazing. There's two pockets on the bag. Even on the other bags I got. Oh, oh, oh watch it, watch it. Oh. 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 Looks like ah, it's a paper that carries importance. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Whoa! Oh, yeah. oh yes! Do you see it? <clears throat> and another little thing I noticed about this one is that um, it uh, it has the better tuners. So compared to my white one. On these tuners I hope you guys can see that but these ones are higher grade <clears throat> the other thing I noticed about the artist guitar is that uh, it's like a flamed maple neck with a solid stringer right down the center I'm not sure if you guys can see that but look at that it has a stringer in this one if I hit it at a certain angle you might be able to see it it's about three quarters of an inch the stringer starts here goes all the way up and then you have this like nice flamed maple look in the in the in the top of the the fretboard over here on the black which looks really crazy like some medullary rays in this bug I tell you what kids tell you what so again yeah I'm, I'm getting this thing all oiled up and dirtied up but uh, Thank you guys. I got my Solar Artist guitar, number 50 out of 50, the last one that he's going to make. And I have a plethora of picks to play from, but, um, you know, uh, it has an Evertune on it, and um, they came uh, perfectly tuned, so I got it plugged into my camper right now and uh, clean, you know, and it's a... Uh... So... I know Ola checks all of the guitars and when he does his quality checks and he knew this was a, this one particularly was coming to me and he wanted me to write a song with this tuning. It's not tuned wrong. He tuned it on purpose like this so just to let you know that mine came special. So he challenged me to write a song with it. That's what it was. Inadvertently, you know, um, that's what I think he wanted to do. So, I kind of wrote one. And, um, how's my shirt? Sola! Okay, so, here it is. But I'm not going to use any pick. Because uh, I'm just going to gonna free flow this bugger. So, okay, here we go. You ready? It's not, it's not a metal song, though. It's a...
Augustine with Ola England's special tuning. Yeah! Hope you liked it as much as I did. That's going on my next record. I'm going to have that heard all over the world. It's called My Black Guitar. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is a video again to say thank you to Ola England and Greg. Um, I don't want to say his name wrong, but they are the owners of Solar Guitars. Um, you know how I know? Because on a certificate, Ola and Greg sign it and it says owners. So thank you guys uh, very much for my endorsement. I love my guitars. Look at it. Look at all my solar gear. And um, it's an honor and a privilege, guys. Thank you very much. So I just sang them my Ola song. Oh, nice. And uh, it was, it's labeled My Black Guitar. Oh, perfect. And then I was going to kind of run down a little um, little distortion thingy. You look beautiful. Yeah. Uh, of, of the tuning, here it is. <laughs> sometimes when you're writing metal because you never know what you could explore the unbelievable amounts of tone that you can get out of a tuning that you're not familiar with so here in Hawaii it's it's nothing new for me because we do slack key Hawaiian tunings right so we, we can play with any kind of tuning but I thought that was kind of cool what do you think <laughs>
<laughs> Sorry, had to had to do you know some freestyle. This is the last one that they made. Okay, so I'm gonna revel in it a little bit. Okay, guys, with the tuning he sent me because he loves me, and um. <laughs> Sorry, I'm gonna get on with this video. All right, so now that the guitar has landed in Hawaii and our humidity rate here is about 90 to 95%, sometimes 98%. So the neck is going to bow. Um, I am going to have to do a full setup on the guitar. So what that entails is, um, so I got the guitar a couple of days ago actually, and um, the neck was bowed only because of our humidity. So what I'm gonna do is with the strings that it came with, I'm gonna adjust a truss rod, get it nice and straight, and then I'm gonna change the string gauges to Mascal strings. Um, I'm gonna try the 10 to 52 on Ola's guitar, um, or I might do the stainless steel 10 to 56 custom set. We'll see, see how it goes. Uh, stainless steel strings, a little thing to know, it's a little bit brighter a little bit more aggressive sounding, a little bit more mid Z, more more high on it. The nickels are a little more war more uh, warmer, rounder sounding, and um, the only thing you gotta watch out for is that when you're using stainless steel strings on nickel frets, you're gonna wear down the frets a lot faster, and that's the only reason why I'm debating on using my stainless steel string set on these or um, keeping it nickel to nickel so I get a longer fretboard life which um, this is number 50 of 50 guitars and um, so I am pretty sure I am going to use my 10 to 52 set on this guitar in a drop C tuning alright so after I get the neck um, straight I am then going to change the strings I'm gonna restring it up I'm gonna tune it to my tuning um, and I'm gonna set the ever tune up for the tuning that I'm in with the gauges that I'm using because it's gonna change from what was loaded on the guitar after I get the thing tuned, I'm going to adjust the action on it and then the intonation. And then after all that's said and done, I am going to check the truss rod adjustment again. Make sure it's straight is where I left it. Um, if you guys want to know what my ideal settings would be from the 12th fret, I usually get one of these little metal rulers. It has little fine measurements and increments and dealio bobs and all that stuff, all that greatness. And what I do is, I don't depress the first fret, I put it on the higher fret on the 12th, I lay it out over the strings, and I touch it up against all the strings, and so my 6th string I usually like at 3 30 seconds, 5th 3 30 seconds, my 4th 3 30 seconds, as we get down to the 3rd, the 2nd, and 1st string, by the time I'm at the 1st string I'm at 2 30 seconds, the second string is 230 seconds and the third string is in between 230 seconds and 330 seconds so it gives it that little round off at the edge and that's how I like my action set up um, but again not all guitars are able to do that due to neck either warped, frets are unbalanced so it all depends on your preference I do not like high action um, but I do not like buzz so I'll bring it down as low as possible without it buzzing and that's basically the rule of thumb. If you drop it down to a certain height that you think is low, just go from the first fret and hit every fret all the way down. And if any of them buzz, you either are too low with your string action or your truss rod still needs to be adjusted. It could still be creating a back bow, which usually causes buzz from the fifth fret to the 12th fret area. So if you're buzzing up here, that's your neck. If you're buzzing up here, that's your action. Kind of rule of thumb, pretty simple. So if I drop it down too low and I'm coming down the fretboard and I'm like, hey, I'm buzzing, I'm buzzing, I'm buzzing, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. That is probably an indication that your truss rod is tightened too much and you gotta put a relief on it. So you need to counter unscrew the truss rod to bring back the bow in the neck slightly and then what I normally do as well to find out how straight the neck is, I hold the first fret and the 14th fret down and I look in the center, usually around the 7th fret, and how much of a gap, you hear that? The string is bouncing on the fret. I like mine straight. So there's no buzz, I'm almost touching the fret and you don't hear any of that. 
the noise noise so that's how I know I gotta adjust my truss rod for me so let me take you down walk through setupville so, <clears throat> as you can see I have a beautiful shirt on can you see it this is one of their new designs for their shirts man really cool I wish they sold it on their website but you know what I guess if you buy a, a rare guitar they give you shirts um, or uh, Ola and Greg just love me, so I got a lot of cool toys on this, this delivery, which was epic. So, what you want to do, again, is there's a little truss rod cover plate over here, which uh, there's Ola England's signature on the, the limited edition guitars. And, sorry, but <clears throat> I have a black and a red or orange. I'm colorblind. But one of these things, a uh, tool that will unscrew the truss rod plate cover so I'm with but you know what you can still see the solar shirt and that's very important okay so you get in there and you unscrew the truss rod plate Ola's signature on the truss rod plate it's Ola's signature on the truss rod plate yes okay so I keep my screws together you know what I mean keep it together so you don't lose it uh, there's a little cavity over here that we're going to use the Allen wrench that came with the guitar. Sorry, it fell. And um, that's what you're going to do. And it comes with spare ever tuned little gizmo gadgets over here for the top just in case they fall down. It comes with another ever tuned key. I have like 10 of them already. So this is for the truss rod, the bigger Allen wrench screw in the set. And. Um, what you gotta do is you gotta find the slot you gotta make sure you get the allen wrench all the way in um, I think some people are saying that their truss rod uh, screw was stripped it's not stripped there's a there's a pre jacket before actual allen wrench sets in so if you're still up at the tip you're not gonna get a good grip of it so what you wanna do is make sure that it goes all the way in it's gonna go through a little shallow chamber at first and then the seating for the Allen wrench will 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 be there so I'm in so what I like to do is if this is my starting point right here I turn the guitar a quarter turn at a time and then I check my I check my first and my 14th fret so I'm gonna start off at a quarter a quarter turn tighten okay there then you wiggle out oh, see I moved it you wiggle out the Allen wrench. I'll try and see if I can show you guys this. But <clears throat> here is my first fret. Here is my 14th fret. I'm going to touch it. I'm going to look down on the side. Okay, right here. It's kind of hard doing it like this only because uh, I only have two hands and I'm trying to balance and show you guys at the same time. So I'm going to do something like this and I'm going to tap. I'm on the fret right now so now what I want to do is I want to look at it I'm right above it okay so I'm gonna leave it set to that I have to look at this my way with my view sorry guys but I need to I, I can't show you this part I need to be able to see it myself I'm trying to make it user friendly for the camera but okay I'm good Alright, so we're going to change the strings now. Again, I'm going to keep it with nickel. I'm going to go with my Skull String set right here. See that? Uh, thank you, Skull Strings. Look at that, man. That's our album cover on there, man. That is crazy. That's a beautiful endorsement. This is a beautiful endorsement. You know, I mean, woohoo! Like a chicken, yeah! Okay, so, don't mind me. Excited. Uh, waited a couple of days to uh, get back to you guys on this video, you know, so it's not the same video. This has been um, multiple days of letting the neck settle to my environment. Okay, a uh, very quick important thing, you know, when you're doing string changes and your setup, you want to be in like a zen mode, you know, you want to have like a little vaporizer. And, and what this does is it keeps me calm. I get to concentrate, I can be in full zen 
when I'm doing my string changes. And you know, if you start getting irritated with the the action, the setup, um, or any part of this process, I highly suggest that you go. <sighs> just, just, just breathe it in, you know, because this is important right here. <sighs> so glorious, glorious. So highly recommend one of these things for everyone's studio. And when you are either in creating mode or changing string mode, this is important. Just. Hmm. So what I got is a little peppermint eucalyptus going on in this room. Wow. So here we go. Let's get this going right here. And again, the limited edition came with strap locks for the guitar and in the bag it came with the strap locks for your guitar strap so they don't drop on you. How smart is this company? They think about everything. And it's a flat black. Not that glossy black thing. It's flat black that matches the black of the guitar. And so you get the bag of skull strings and you rip it and slip it. And you just inhaled France. So cool. So cool. All right. The gauges are 10, 13, 17, 30, 42, 52. Okay. I prefer 56, but I want this guitar to last a long time. So, this is just how it goes. Okay. This is just how it goes. Okay, so for all of you guys new to the, the Evertune, there's three adjustment points on the bridge. The first adjustment behind the strings and the angle of the strings diving into the bridge is your tuning area. Okay, the next step is here, and this is your action, makes the strings go up and down. And your final step is in the back. It is for your intonation. And intonation is set by hitting the string on the 12th fret and then the harmonic on the 12th fret. Okay? And that's what we want to do for every string. Okay? Alright, so I'm gonna just play some song, just guitars, no drums, no band, no screaming. Um, but wanting to just showcase the the guitar, what it sounds like. I'm coming off of my Kemper profiler right now using a profile of my 1985 Mark III hand-wired modded C++ from the factory and given this profile to Tommy Penderson and he modded the profile and sent it back so it's a beast of a profile right now so uh, I'll let, let you guys hear what this one sounds like. <laughs> I like 
probably added that delay in there. Uh, but yeah, this song is called Descendants of Angels. And one thing I like to do with Augustine is I like to write in waltz timings. So here's a little doohickey of a song called Descendants of Angels. Hope you guys like it. guitars um, this is the number 50 of 50 guitars made limited edition run first generation limited edition run I know he's pulling on your guitars and newer limited edition models which is awesome um, this company will go far in the music world in the music business because they have a solid foundation and they have really good character and they really know how to build relationships with people. Hope you guys buy solar guitars in the future. Check them out. Uh, don't knock it till you try it. They're very high quality instruments. Don't worry about where they're built. They are built well. And again, it's the owners behind the company is what actually fuels the desire for these guitars to be built. So, you know, show support and I don't think solar guitars will ever have a problem standing up next to the other giants because there is no giants anymore. Um, you guys have fun, be good, practice your instrument, and um, I'll see you guys next time. Aloha.